Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at how we can create this very cool intro in here uh, mosaic stomp fo photo logo intro in here where you have the photos in here and then you have some, some very fast text in here and this is a very cool way to present your your intro, your, your, your content in here so let's go ahead and, and do this we're going to use the mosaic, mosaic stomp project in here for Premiere Pro and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Essential Graphics and we're simply going to install this right in here and use it right over, right inside of Premiere Pro. Now before we start, just make sure that you have Premiere Pro 2021 before you start using this since this requires 2021 or a later ver version of this. So make sure that your software is 2021 or a later version of that. So with that said, we can go ahead and install this. You can install this right inside from the Essential Graphics window in here, or else you can go to, to, go to Graphics and click on Install Motion Graphics Template from here. So, and if your Essential Graphics window is not opened in here, simply go to Window, and from here, click, make sure that this is set to On in here. So I'm going to show you how you can install it from Essential Graphics as well. Simply click on that, go to the file that you have purchased and downloaded in here and install this folder in here, the .mogert file in here named Mosaic Stomp Multiphoto Logo. Click on Open and that will install right over in here. Now you can go ahead and create a new sequence in here, so just go to File, New, File, New and Sequence in here and you don't really need to worry about the settings in here, just press OK since now when we insert this we can change the settings so simply drag and drop that right over there click change sequence settings in here and there we have it so this is our our promo in here as you can see it's already set up with all these photo photos numbered in here so you can easily change them and if we go to the edit window in here while this is selected i'm going to zoom a little bit in here so we can see it properly. You will find that you have the first folder, which is the text properties. So I always recommend to change the text before you go and change the photos, since when you are adding the photos, you might slow a little bit the project down since you are adding content in here. So firstly, let's get the text ready since this is a faster way of working. So open the folder in here. There it is, and let's find where the first text is. As you can see, it's right over here. And I'm going to type something in here. So let's type a phrase. And this is for text 01. And for text 01, what you need to do is simply Copy this, so copy that phrase and make sure that in here you have text 01 copy properties. Make sure that you paste them exactly as they are. As you can see right now, this is not matching. And once we paste them and they are exactly the same. So let's click somewhere else for that to update. You can see that this is now working correctly. This is the same with the font. So if you change the font in here, make sure that you have the exact font in here. And even the size, if you change the size in here, make sure that the exact size is used in here. So that's it with that. We can move on, we can change the colors of course in here. So you can pick any color in here for the text as you can see, and also for the background color of this specific slide. I'm going to leave them to white and black in here, but that, this is basically how it works. So click OK in here and let's go to black in here since I like, I like the look of the template how it is right now. So let's move to the next one. So let's go a little bit through it in here. And this is the next one here. So at around five seconds in here, 525, you can see the next one. Now we have text zero to part one in here and text zero to part two in here. So what you're going to do is you're going to put in the first part of the phrase in here, then put in the whole phrase in the second part. So I'm going to type in cool motion in here. So cool in there, 
and then type in the whole cool the whole phrase in here so cool mo motion right over there and as you can see that will update right over here and you can see how that will animate in here as you can see very cool so let's move to the next text of course you can tweak the colors of this as well just the same way and in here we have another phrase I think it's around 8 seconds there it is so and I'm, I'm just going to and for, for here for so this is for text 03 so let's scroll down and go to text 03 in here and in here you have written for example so cool what you're going to do in here in part one you're going to place the first part of the phrase and in part 02 you're going to paste in the second part of the text so I'm going to type in four photos so the first part goes in there and the second part go, goes in there and that's basically it so as you can see now it animates like that perfect so we are ready from the text of course you can go ahead and change the colors as well in here I'm going to scroll this to the top and close this folder in here and now we can go ahead and tweak some colors in here so first of all is the main background color you can pick any color from here so you can even for instance make that dark press ok and as you can see the main background color in here is changed in my case i'm going to leave this to white since i i like it how it is but you can change the color if you need and for the end slide in here with the logo you can also change its color to whatever you like just like that so that's basically how that works let's click ok here and now we can go ahead and change our logos and media etc so to do that i'm going to go in here and go to these three lines in here and very simply go replace from explorer and uh, i'm going to find my logos in here so let's go to there and simply pick your logo in here make sure that it has an uh, uh, transparent background for it in here so that you can use it but that's basically it so click ok so something like a png would work perfectly click ok and there it is once you have loaded it up you can tweak some settings in here for instance this can be 100 so that it fits correctly you can even tweak its position if you need just like that or even the rotation etc so feel free to experiment with this if you if you need to rotate etc so i'm going to keep it how it was in here so perfect we can move to the next part and in here it is exactly basically the same thing so you're going to find a spot where you can see most of the photos something like here and we can go ahead and start filling these photos so all you need to do is simply click on this and go to replace from explorer now before we do this something that we need to say is that since we are working inside of premiere pro in here and uh, we are using we, we are going to use photos and here there are a lot of photos just make sure that the photos that you are using are not very large so make sure that the photos that you're using have a smaller small resolution so that you don't slow up the the project the same if you are using video make sure that the resolution of the video itself is not very large and the size of the folder is not very large so i'm going to show you an example of this for instance i have these photos in here to work with this project now i would like to use for instance this photo right over here and let's let's go to properties of it to see how large it is as you can see it is four megabytes which is quite large and if i go to details it has this huge resolution here and we don't need that to be in that resolution so we can easily resize that so to do that i'm going to go to i'm going to show you a way how to do this right inside 
of your Windows Explorer in here. So of course, if you are using a Mac, you can use any other other software to do this. It is a very simple thing to do. So just in here, I opened in, it inside of Photos, and I'm simply going to resize, and I'm going to give it something like this, and give it a new name, Photo 02, click Save, and of course you only need to do this if your photos are qu quite high res, so in this case, if I go to properties now, as you can see, it is just 200 kilobytes, which is much better than the 4 megabytes that we had before. And if we go to details, the resolution is also smaller. So make sure that your photos are not very large, and if they are large, simply resize them like that. You can, of course, use any other photo editing application that you, that you know how to use to, to do this process. So go to photo 01 in here, and now we can fill that in. Replace from Explorer, and simply pick that photo that we have just resized. So that should be photo 02. Let's find where that is. And there it is. Click on Open. And as you can see, we have filled that in. And it will st still look great inside of this project. So, perfect. So that, that is done. You can continue to fill in your photos just like this. Of course, you can also use videos. Just once again, make sure that they are not very, not very large files. They are smaller files. All you need to them to be is just 15 seconds maximum. So you don't need them to be very, very large, of course. So simply go to replace from Explorer. And I'm going to select a video in here, a simple video. For instance, this one, click on OK. And there we go. So this is how you will replace your media. And if, of course, we scroll through this, you can see that everything is still fast since we used smaller photos in here. And you can see that the video is playing, etc. And there. Perfect. So continue to fill in these, and then you can you can go ahead and render. So to render. First of all, make sure to drag and drop your music file in here if you are using a music file. Then simply go to File, make sure to select the sequence, go to File, and go to Export. Export Media, and you would render this like any other, other project in here. So go to Format, I'm going to choose A.264. I'm going to give it a name in here. And click Save. Make sure export audio is set to one if you're using audio. And now let's go to video in here. And if you are using 4K, just leave it as it is. If you're not using, if you'd like to render it in full HD, for instance, simply resize this to something like 1920 by 1080. There you go. And let's scroll a little bit in here down to see what else we have. You have the target, target megabytes per second, something like a 35 would be more than enough, so that's perfect. And simply make sure that the use maximum render quality is set to one. And then simply hit export. So that's basically it. I hope that you enjoy using this template and find it very useful for your projects. It's quite easy to use and it will give you very, very nice results. So I hope you enjoy using this project. Thank you very much for watching.